So we're going to do one more for this lesson. Uh, again, first step is to look at my given. Angle 3 is congruent to angle 4. Okay, those angles are congruent. AB is congruent to DC. That's already marked. And then I want to prove that angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. So, again, um, if I want to say that these two angles are congruent, there's no way just by um, what's given to me, I can't just say that these two angles are congruent. So, but then I know that these two angles are the base angles of this triangle right here, right? So as long as I can say that the sides opposite, so this side and this side are congruent, then angles 1 and 2 can be congruent. Is there any way I can prove that these sides are congruent then, instead? Since I can't prove that the angles are congruent, can I prove that the sides are congruent? Well, let's see. These sides belong to these triangles. I can't directly say that these sides are congruent, but if I prove that the triangles are congruent, then I can say that these sides that belong to those triangles are going to be congruent because of CPCTC. Then I can say that these angles are congruent. Okay, so that's the reasoning behind it. Now, um, am I able to prove that these two triangles are congruent? I have a side, I have corresponding angles, and then I need one more, I only have two. So then I need one more. Now look, I have that angle five is congruent to angle six, that's an automatic, right? Because they're vertical angles. Now I have angle, angle, side. Is that valid? Is that a valid uh, method? Yes, it is, angle, angle, side is. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna prove that these two triangles are congruent and then say that these two sides are congruent, and then say that the angles are congruent. So it's kind of similar to the, um, the example that we just did. Statements and reasons here. Angle three congruent to angle four. AB congruent to DC given, what do I have here that pertains to my triangles? I have a side, my side, and I have my angles, right? Step two, um, I need another side or angle something, so then that's that would be my vertical angles. Angle five is congruent to angle six, vertical, angles are congruent. There is my other angle. Now that I have everything I need, I have proven that the triangles are congruent. Triangle A, B, E, congruent to triangle. What's corresponding with A? D, C, because C is corresponding with B. E and is my reason ASA? No, because it's not the right order. Um, it's angle, angle, side. So it's A, A, S. And this is actually the theorem, not the postulate. And then um, now that I've proven that the triangles are congruent, I can now say that those sides, which is AE, is congruent to DE. What's my reason? CP, CTC. Okay, now that these sides are congruent, I can now say that the ang these angles are congruent, which is my last step. And then the reason, okay, is isosceles triangle theorem.
isosceles triangle theorem because we just proved that these sides are congruent. Okay? So that's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching educator.com.